This is an important video, so it goes in depth. I'll show you some quick ways to input carriers and products, but most people are interested in knowing how to build out a full commission structure with all the bells and whistles. So buckle in. This part is very easy. Go to Settings, Carriers, click Edit. Click Add Carrier. You can add one at a time here, but I like pasting a list of my carriers to easily import. Hit Create. If you like, you can go in and edit the carrier so that you can add in contact information and carrier documents and links. You can track notes, set information, add contacts, add documents, and add web links. This is an especially helpful tool if you have a large team because your whole team will have access to any of the information you've assigned to it. You can choose where to display the information. By checking Agent Access, the document or link will appear in this Carrier Info section. The Lead Client View page will show on the Leader Client's file, and the Email screen makes it available as an attachment for email purposes. Let's add a document, and I'll select all of those options so we can show you where they appear. Choose a category. I'll select Carrier Document. Assign it to a specific product if you've already set up your products, or assign it to All Products. Since this is a Carrier Document, I'll assign it to All Products. Click Attach File. Now we see it here in Carrier Info, here in a person's file, and on the email options in Send Email. It will also be available for any template creation you do in Drips or Mass Email. Now you have carriers done. I told you it was easy. Okay, let's go on to Products. Settings. Products, Commissions and Renewals. Edit. You can do this very easily. Just click Import Products and upload a spreadsheet of carriers and products in a CSV file. Choose the file, Import Carriers and Products. Another easy way to add in products is by clicking on Add Product. Choose the carrier and paste a list of the product names that you want to associate with that carrier. Now you'll be setting the commissions and renewals at the product level here. If you just want to get your products set up so that you can import your book of business and have the carriers and products match up when you do, a quick trick is to just put in a flat rate of zero for the commission and renewals for all of these. Otherwise, you're going to want to specifically set the commissions and renewals. This is where it gets in depth. Determine if the commission is paid monthly, yearly, or every X months. Note that if you get an advance for this product, you'll be entering that on the client level of the product entry. This is for the overall product structure only, so we won't be setting advances yet. Now determine the structure. Flat fee, percentage of premium, commissionable premiums, prorated calendar premiums for Medicare Advantage, or tier years. Let's do these as tier years. We'll set the average premium for this product. Again, this is only for the product level. We'll set the actual premium at the client level. The average premium will help you with projections when you assign a product to a lead that you're quoting. Enter the first tier years. Let's say the first year is 75%. The next four years are 60%. Everything after that is 35%, so we'll put in 100 years, since most likely that will carry you through the lifetime. Save. You'll also see that you can set agency-specific commissions. We'll cover that in a little bit so the single agents can bail out sooner. Now you can go back in and edit the specific products. So if the commission structure is the same for all of these products that we've just entered, but the average premium is slightly different, just edit the products, change the premium, and save. Now let's see how to do the product assignment on the client level. Commissions can be tricky since there are so many different types of contracts. 
We recommend playing around with these settings a bit on a sample client, and if you have any questions, please create a tech ticket with the specific information on what you're trying to accomplish and we'll advise. If there's an actual issue, please provide the client name and the details on the issue so that we can research it for you. Go to Clients. Let's choose this client. On the Products page, you'll be able to add as many products for a client as you wish. Click Add Product. We'll set up the coverage type, the status of the product, carrier, product, policy number, the actual premium if applicable, set the effective and renewal dates. If you need any overrides, add them here. Bonuses can be positive or negative amounts. Anything else you need to add in, save. Once you've set those, the commission module will generate. You can click on each product's commission to access the commission module for that product, or click the options to edit, view commissions, or delete. An important side note, as always in Radius, if you delete a product, it's gone. So editing it and changing the status to canceled or something like that might be a better option. Let's choose to see the commission module. You see on the left-hand columns the projected payment dates and amounts per the structure that you set up on the product level, plus the premium and the effective date. Now you can enter in when and how much you actually got paid on the right columns. If this is a product that you get paid in advance on, this is where you'd enter that information. If you want to edit the product status options, go to Settings. Product Status Options. Click Edit. Edit or add the options you want to display. The sort order is related to the order that you'll see the status options displayed in when selecting from the product status drop-down list. Save any changes. You'll see that since I've edited the canceled product status to terminated, this status has automatically updated. Okay, for multi-user accounts, let's go even deeper. Let's go back into Settings, Products, Edit. Let's edit a product. Below the main product settings are agency-specific commissions. You can set commission amounts for specific agents, so if you want to see 100% yourself, you'll set that amount. Save. If you want this agent to only see 60%, You'll set that amount for him or her and save. If you've set upline and downline agencies or teams, you'll also be able to assign that way.